Hello, everybody. Welcome back once again to the Sweet and Two walkthrough. All right, so it looks like I've cut out a bunch of footage here. Um, this is basically a return trip to um, Rock Axe Castle. Um, if you notice there, I spoke with the Blue Knight uh, down there, uh, kind of before the the stairwell, and he gives you a Thunder Rune. So those are always nice to have. Uh, and then we're going to continue on to uh, Gerudo's office here, which I believe is just south of us. Um, <clears throat> I do eventually, in this video, have some footage of uh, obtaining recipe number 36, which I believe is from the Highland troops here. And, um, yeah, one of the, well, is it five? It's either five or six uh, recipes that is obtained from... Uh, enemies. Now, it looks like... Oh, I don't have McDole anymore. That's a shame. Um, so he must have got kicked out at some point. Oh, nice. Uh, so that's the Falcon Rune Plus uh, Fury status. I don't know if that was a times three uh, damage, though. Uh, so if that was, that's... Um, not as impressive. 298. Um, yeah, I don't know. That almost has to be times three damage. Just looking at Anita's uh, damage as well. Anyways, um, so it looks like Anita must unlock her uh, second rune spot at 53. She's at 52 right now and still doesn't have it. Uh, but Valeria already does. So, again, that makes me think that that's when she gets it. Um, so there's the earth armor. I think that's the heavy stuff. Yeah. Anti-bat. I don't know what that means. Anti-bat. And then resist earth. I'll get rid of that. Um, there's recipe number 37. Obviously obtained from the bookcase there. Steak recipe. Okay. Uh, so I think that's it uh, for um, his office. All right, so there's recipe number 36. I've actually just, uh, you know, taken a little bit of foot footage uh, post-battle from, uh, ag again, that's a group of Highland troops. So that's the, the Genghis Khan, I guess. Uh, okay, what are we going to get rid of? Yeah, guard ring. All right, fair enough. Don't really need one of those. Or those, those are uh, buyable from uh, stores. Okay. Um. Boy, I'm wondering now if we've obtained all of the droppable recipes. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, anyways. All right, so we are back at the castle. I think I think I'm going to head to the kitchen. Yeah, it looks like it. All right, so these are all of the yeah, these are all the droppable recipes. So I did actually get all of them. So it's 12, 21, 29, 34 and 36. So again, all of these recipes are uh, from enemies. And um, before you hand in my opinion, in, before you hand any of them in, um, you know, you should get all of them to drop and then hand them in afterwards. Uh, it looks like we've got another of the Iron Chef type battles here. And Okay, maybe I'm actually going to do that. <coughs> Yeah, okay. Alright, so um, I think this is one of the earlier battles, which is, you know, usually the earlier ones are pretty easy. Actually, I've, I, I've always thought that most of these are pretty easy to do. But, uh, 
Uh, though, to be fair, uh, you know, a lot of whether or not you're successful with these uh, cook, cook contests or whatever you want to call them uh, is kind of dependent on, I mean, A, what you pick and what you've got available for recipes, but also on your, uh, on the judges. So, um, I don't know, I'll, I'll be honest, I, I barely, I barely put any thought into any of these contests and I still won, so... So there's that. Um, I think I'm actually going to cut out a bunch of footage here. Alright, so I just cut out all the, the stuff there. I didn't find that uh, these cook contests are all that entertaining. <laughs> but, uh, alright, so this is Yukum. Thanks a lot. <clears throat> okay, well, that guy's a good sport. Uh, it looks like the uh, the recipes that you win uh, from the cook-offs go directly to Hayo, so they don't actually go to your inventory like, you know, other ones do, I guess. But, uh... <clears throat> Excuse me, all right. I think what I'm going to do here is actually grab some of the other recipes that I've got in my warehouse and kind of dump them off. Uh, because, again, at this point, now that I've got all of the uh, droppable recipes, I'm not worried about um, the bug or glitch or whatever um, kind of screwing me over, <laughs> for lack of a better uh, better term. All right, so, as always, we've got inventory issues, so we'll dump off, uh, dump off what we can. Um, the good thing, though, is if you notice here, I've got so many recipes that uh, now that I'm able to actually uh, hand them over, uh, I'll have a ton of extra room. Now, uh, to be completely honest, though, I think the bug only... Um, triggers uh, when you hand in the the recipes that are actually dropped from enemies. So these other ones that I've obtained by like you know rare finds and um, you know by talking to NPCs and stuff. Um, I think I could have actually handed those in earlier, but uh, again I just didn't want to risk it. I figured you know I'll just I'll just wait and uh, get all of the the ones that are dropped by enemies and you know get a hold of all those first um, so here if you notice um, he's asking about making a menu um, I don't remember exactly what this is. I think I think you can actually like buy stuff maybe from him um, but I, I I'm not ever gonna I didn't I didn't bother doing that yeah you can order food or make menu so, <clears throat> again, make menu just kind of um, chooses what what you're able to, I think, buy or order. Uh, and again, I, I'm just not going to bother with that. I don't. I don't find uh, I don't find it all that useful. Uh, excuse me. All right. Anyways, uh, looks like we've got another cut in my video here. So we'll see what I'm going to do. Look. Uh, oh, okay. Looks like I'm grabbing uh, McDonald again. Um, eventually, Gremio there has a recipe, but... Um, oh, speaking of how yo, it's in my party. Um, have you come over to play? Are you serious? Bro, I run an army. I didn't come over to play. Um, anyways, yeah, so Gremio's got a recipe that you can get later, but, um, uh, you have to do a bunch of the cooking contests first, and since I decided that I didn't want to do that, I never got that recipe, so, um, yeah. Anyways, alright, so we're moving on here. Time to attack Highland.
<clears throat> Human wisdom has its limits. Okay. All right, let's do it. So, um, I think the next stop is uh, Highland Territory. Uh, okay, where do we gotta go here? <coughs> oh, I think this is a pass out moment. Yep. Okay. All right, so back at Highland here. This is kind of interesting, and I'm not really sure why. Maybe it'll maybe if I pay more attention here, I'll learn why exactly this happens. Okay, so it looks like a, a blood sacrifice to the beast rune. So, I mean, I don't know. This is obviously a, a super bizarre scene there. Why would the... Oh. So, Leon Silverberg is not dead, apparently. Um... I find that a little weird, too, because the reports were that Kaiba and Leon Silverberg were, were both mortally wounded. Well, here he is walking around. So, apparently those reports were exaggerated. Uh, anyways, uh, like I was saying earlier there, I find that scene to be very strange. Um, Jillia is supposed to be the queen. And um, there you have the king basically sacrificing her in front of the people of Highland and the Highlands, well, I guess specifically the Highland soldiers. Um, I just, <laughs> when would that ever fly? I don't know. Again, I, I don't really feel like it makes that much sense. Um, obviously, there Joey saying, clean up the doll, you know, signifies that it's not really Jillia there that was sacrificed for, I think that's an in inaccurate word, but... <clears throat> Anyways, all right, so here's a, I think this is an optional scene. Maybe not. Maybe this is actually required uh, between shoe and apple. So here, even when, uh, <laughs> um, Apple says something about, um, I don't know, this was one of the battles, so where Apple and uh, Klaus were kind of in charge, I forget already where that was, but, um, you know, Apple even says, you know, you knew it was going to fail, so why did you essentially let me make any choices and she was just like well i figured you had a 50 50 at best but since you were you and klaus there um you know the damage would be minimal which man that that has to feel bad or good <laughs> i don't know um yeah i mean again at least he was confident enough to say that well you know, he trusted in their abilities enough that, you know, they they wouldn't be completely ruined. So, I don't know, sort of a compliment, kind of. Um, and then as far as the card goes there, I don't, that's, I guess that's sort of significant. Uh, at least coming up anyway. <clears throat> We're going to kick ass, all right. Let's do that. Uh, 
Okay, so I think we've got a good portion of the scenes taken care of. So we'll save here. Let's see how much time I've got. Man, 52 hours on this playthrough. Uh, kind of wondering if I let my game sit inactive for a while or if that was just from all of the random farming that I did which is possible. Alright, so here everybody's gathered up again. Goal is uh, Highland and uh, I'm not going to pronounce that right. El Renol Castle. Now, it's kind of interesting. This group of people here actually looks exactly the same as uh, the group that was gathered earlier. If you notice, there are gadgets at the bottom right-hand corner along with Muku Muku. So it actually looks exactly like that, you know, group of uh, characters that was gathered up earlier on. So I don't know. I don't know if that's significant. I mean, it's not significant, but I guess it's interesting anyway. All right, so troops are on the march yet again. It's time to take down Le Renoul. I'm probably saying that wrong. I bet it's a French word, and I'm, I'm going to not have any clue how to say it right. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Okay. Okay, Victor, just as we planned. I always get the dirty jobs. <laughs> Alright, so it would appear Shu and Victor have some secret plans going on. Because why wouldn't they? Anything involving Shu is more complicated than it initially seems. My last mission. Excuse me. Jeez, sorry. <laughs> oh, it's another one of those days. Where the hell are they? Shoo, what could you be thinking? That's his plan. All right. Go directly after Shu's unit. Eliminate them and... Uh, here we go. Leon, he's not man enough to willingly put his life in danger. Wow, Shu's, Shu's unit for some reason has an attack and defense rating of zero. That doesn't make any sense. He's one of the best units to be... Uh, I should say. He's one of the best characters. I think he's got critical and... I think he's actually critical and evade. But, I suppose this isn't, uh... This isn't your typical skirmish. Alright, so it would certainly appear... As though Shu was acting as a decoy. Give the signal, all right. Light it, light it up. Right and left flank, surround them. Let's get it on. <laughs> so, um, unfortunately, you don't really get to do anything uh, as far as like the you know the war skirmishes or whatever. 
And here the strategists meet face to face. If it isn't little shoe. Number one rule in the book, don't put yourself in danger. Had to throw away the book, you read it too many times. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? I mean, come on, man, that's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> History doesn't flow, it moves in leaps and bounds. All right. There, Leon proving himself to be quite the ideologue. You disgust me. <laughs> You're the very definition of garbage. Alright, so it seems as though Shu has sacrificed himself, but... <laughs> Surprise. So, I don't know there if, uh, if Leon is supposed to have then died. <laughs> and then Victor saves him. Alright. Okay, so here we are. Uh, this is the Muse Highland border, apparently. To do now is ride into Lorino. Um, okay. Um, I guess saving's not a bad idea. We haven't really done anything difficult, I guess, but... Yeah, no, uh... No real reason not to, I guess. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, I don't... I don't really think there's any reason to go back quite yet. Um... Yeah, let's go. Oh, rearrange units. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I think we I think we actually do have one more uh war skirmish or whatever you want to call it um before we get get to uh the Highland City. Um and I think it's I mean, I don't know if I, uh, it's probably not the toughest one, but um it's Uh, I don't know. I guess it's <laughs> probably the longest mission. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it actually is the toughest one now that I kind of think about it. You do kind of have to hack your way through a bunch of enemy troops, so there's that. Uh, now, again, I've I've got these uh, units completely messed up. I I really should have set up differently, but. I didn't, so, you know, whatevs. Um, I really wish I would have done, like, my my melee units or the ones that were going to be, like, my front line. I wish I would have done, like, <clears throat> you know, really high defense and um, had, like, you know, flick and my magic units. I wish I would have stacked attack on them instead, but I didn't, so my bad.
Okay, Seed, Colgan, Han. Who else was in there? Uber. I think Lucia shows up here too. I could be wrong on that though. Oh yeah, no, that's gotta be. Yeah, there she is. Take your unit in the city. The final battle will be blah, 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 whatever. All right, so actually, in order to, to win this one, all you need to do is have one of your troops set foot inside uh, the city walls. So much like the first, well, maybe that wasn't the first battle. One of the earliest battles there for Victor's Fort. Um, you know, when the Highland army sets foot inside the the fort it's over whereas again it's kinda like the shoes on the other foot this time so all we have to do is get one troop to end their turn inside the the city walls and we're done now I'll be honest I you know kind of enjoy these so I kinda took my time and <laughs> destroyed a lot of troops on my way uh, I did get to a point, though, I think, where a couple of my troops had taken some damage, and I was like, eh, I don't know if I want to risk, you know, somebody dying. So I think eventually I just kind of called it a day and went inside. Um, now, again, this is a perfect example of a really poorly set up unit there with Max. Um, actually, it wasn't that bad. He's got Ulan with him, so that, that that's not too bad. But I think Han would have been, you know, better as like a... I don't know, a, a unit farther back, I guess, if I could, you know, more like a, more like a support unit, <clears throat> and someone like, I don't, like, even Lorelei would have been a better option for Han in that, that particular unit. Uh, anyways, so Gilbert's got the fire. Spears. Um, we'll definitely try to make use of those. As we always do. Um, and then, yeah, it looks like they're just going to kind of hole up inside the, the castle walls there. You can kind of do some tricky stuff where, like, um, you know, as long as you maneuver your units right, you can you can actually avoid a lot of the fighting if you really want to. Uh, and again, just kind of sneak in, you know, but... Um, generally, I would say, you know, if that, if that was the case, you know, you'll probably want to uh, use one of your cavalry units to, to sneak in. Um, just because, again, they're going to have a little bit extra uh, movement, but... Uh, all right. <laughs> okay, what? Uber just takes off for whatever reason. And then what did he say there? It's almost my chance. I don't I actually don't even know what he was referring to there. Okay, I'm not really sure what I'm trying to set myself up to do here. Valeria's unit is set up. It looks pretty good. Um, she's got Humphrey, and then she's got, what, a cavalry unit, and then I forgot who her third person was there. We'll see here in a little bit. Um, doo -doo -doo. Oh, yes, okay. Um, basically, what I did there was put um, Flick out in front. If you notice that like little cluster of, of, uh, of my troops that I've got going there, it's Hauser in the middle because he's got the Encourage ability. Um, and then, you know, the two magician units on the top and the bottom. Uh, and then Teresa, or Teresa, uh, at the back. Because she's got that bombard ability, so she's really able to, you know, 
crank out some good range on that. Now, um, I, I kind of wish they would have just been moved up a little bit higher. Like right now, they're a little bit too far to the south on the map to, or I guess for my liking, but uh, whatever, it works out. We'll end up getting there, we'll do some damage. <clears throat> And then here, unfortunately, though, because <laughs> my magician units don't have cavalry, they're going to be lagging behind now. Which, unfortunately, with this uh, <laughs> this battle, I, I think it's mostly just getting my troops into position. Um, like that's that's the majority of it. Oh yeah, Laura, that that unit actually is set up really good. Valeria, Humphrey, and then Lorelei. Um, that, yeah, that's that's almost as good as you can get, defensive-wise. Obviously, maybe the only other thing I could have done instead was put um, Ulan there instead of uh, instead of the Lorelei, but that's all right. So anyway, she'll be our. That unit is a good a good. Um, uh, Frontline unit. All right, so I used my fire spears there. Uh, I'll be honest, I, I I didn't really do a good job with those. Um, I only hit one one troop there. You know, so I, I'll be honest, that was that was a bit of a waste. I think I could have done done a lot better job there, but I think at the end of the day, it's probably not going to really matter that much. All right, so using bombard, try to hack down some of these troops before we get there. Um, I suspect maybe they'll rush out to meet us, but maybe not. Yeah, and I don't know. They... Oh, that's right. So I think I think the troops inside the walls might heal. We'll see here. I could have swore that that was. It. I might, <laughs> I might be thinking of a completely different game though. But um, I, I could have swore that uh, when they're inside the walls like that, they'll actually heal. So we'll see. Oh, there we go, Valeria, doing a little bit of damage there. Soften them up a bit. That always is good to see. Um, I wish I would have put Mazus's Ma Mazus, whatever Mazus. Wish I would have put his unit out in front because he's got that fire rune. And it's got a massive AoE. But, oh well. So I guess if you really wanted to play things safe, because it looks like these troops are like not moving towards me. Yeah, look, they're just sitting there. I could have just ran up with the like the magician units and kept attacking from distance and been super safe. But oh well. All right, there's another one down. Our first victims. <clears throat> All right. Flicks doing some work too. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, look at, I mean, had I kind of kept, that actually probably would have been worth using right there, even if, yeah, oh, I did. Holy crap. Okay. Yeah, that fire magic is amazing. Um, but if you notice there, uh, that unit that I had damaged earlier with the fire spears actually did heal up. So apparently that is a thing. Um, inside the castle walls healing, that is. Okay. 
Alright, wiping out another one. Um, so I'll be honest, I, I... Can I win this turn? Maybe not. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. I don't think I can move anyone inside the walls this turn. I don't think <laughs> the guy actually did any damage with Bombard the entire game. Or I guess I should say it was never it was never successful the entire game. Oh, ouch. All right, seeds down. We got him. Oh, I I can win this turn. All I have to do is move that one group inside the wall. Yeah, Victor's group. Oh, no. It doesn't let me in. What? Well, that was weird. Let's see if I can heal somebody here. What? Why wouldn't I heal anybody? There was no reason not to do that. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> okay, whatever. It's like, we're, we're at the end here. There was no reason not to do that. Uh, and again, I could have just won this right here, so I don't, I don't know why I even bothered. I guess for fun. Oh, ouch! Got a little messed up there. Yeah, here I was like, ah, I'm going to save his unit to to sneak in once we've had our fun here. Because I've got a, got a bone to pick with Lucio here. It's for trying to assassinate me. <clears throat> She's holding out. What does invention do? Damage everyone around, including self. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so he would have been useful in almost any other party. <laughs> that is probably the worst possible place for him, because my idea with the heroes unit was like, oh, yeah, I'll just use him to heal people around me. Well, then Adlai's invention damages everybody around you. <laughs> I could just just realized that now so that's literally the worst spot for him so man it's kind of kind of comical yeah, man i really want to take her down before i win this i guess I'm, like doing everything i can not to to finish this here we go win magical get her yeah get it <laughs> get some <laughs> For the future of the Karaya. Is that your death cry? Oh, melee! Yeah! Took him down. Alright. So that melee ability fires off of archer units. Hence, I just worked him over. Alright, so there we did it. Uh, ended up with uh, Georg's unit inside the gates. Which counts as a victory. Alright, all we have to do now is take renewal. Alright, so um what I'm gonna do here is set up a group of five. And then I think I'm gonna go grab McDole again because now that we've you know kind of broke into the gates, I guess. 
I will be able to continue on. Uh, if you notice there, Anita finally has her second um, second rune spot, which is a bit of a shame because I don't think I really used her after this point. As merge, I don't think so, buddy. Oh. oh, there she is. I don't think that this lasted long. Like I said, I think I uh, think I actually went and grabbed uh, McDole after this. <coughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. Huh. Bob, eh? Okay. I know he didn't last long. Oh, actually, I shouldn't say that. I think I might have used Bob at the very end, or like the last battle. We'll see, though. But, uh, all right, yeah, so now all we have to do is just leave. And, um, yeah, I'm going to head up to, I forget the name of this place. It's like Saraj Sar 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 Village or something like that. Uh, and that's where the, the final hammer uh, is at. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab that, which will let us, to get, or let us get our uh, weapons up to level 16. Oh, nice. Well, you're doing some work. Um, anyways, all right, I'm about out of time. So, as always, hope the guide was helpful. And hope you join me for more videos. Thanks for watching.